The poem is called There, A Feeling. What is by now made here gone, gone now here by what is made, here made gone by what is now? Where do you look? And if you find what you want by sight, do you destroy it? You walk into a room, you know she is angry, she doesn't say a word, her back is turned, you think, what have I done wrong? You can't decide, but you know she is angry. The room is dark, it's raining outside, the window, dull light, is it the weather, gray? Or you walk into a room and you know he is gone. What is he's gone? Is absence the evidence? I'm talking about our parents, how our parents are appearances, how their volumes organize punctuations, here, there, gone, because spaces are edges we end or extend, the meter, the measure of intent, a container for feelings, a mood as people like this one, him, her, him. Yes, he is a girl, she is a fact, how? How is a fact, he is how, she is a fact, and she is how. How he is, she is, a fact and its qualities, both a fact and qualities, unique and curious and strange, as weird as art, which is matter. The substance, look, it, it is, what is it, look, how is it, how it is, how it is what, look, what is how it is, what is how it is it, is what how, is it how, is it what, how, look, what's there, touch it, must we, do we, know how it's done, done simply, as a practice, done as thinking, as words, as lectures, finished, is it done as an end, as a terminus, as a theory in itself, in, out, in and out, where it arises there in the outside, it is grief whenever how is the question, the answer. How do we attend to words, each word? How is belief tested? How does an order disappear? It happens, messages fail, but looks are different. They flicker between he and she. He is handsome without boundaries. He's an all at once, a form of traffic. His broken tooth smile is a streetcar in a city where all tensions are spastic. Look how he holds my attention with guile when he describes how bottles carried clink when what we observe is what we think. We admire workers' style, though we know we don't like them when they speak. We know we must ask how the children of the children of the children endure. Now he feels her anxiety about being ignored. Attention wanders, we oscillate between. As a young boy, she was tormented. She said, I don't need theory in order to exist. Her difference didn't escape cruel eyes. She grew up with it, yet here she is. She is alive. Never ask why about gender. You're queer. It's not a form of resistance. Thinking now about how repetition establishes space, what we can't wear, we sew. Language is more or less felt. The daily house shoes, what warms the feet, fibers held together under friction. Home is the theme. What we can't hold, we hug. We hug a single tree among rows of trees in a public garden where little boys sing, listen how voices change, touch what we lean upon between us, trust what we can't know. What do you do when the offer of sex turns to fuck us? We look, 
That is the drama of what comes next. We learn to enjoy terror, to draw energy from random sensations. There is no necessity among connections that reason can discern. All words are potential anagrams. Things are parts. Each is a piece, a remnant of a unique order, and together either made more or less. Our feelings, you know, what we've chosen, but did not elect, the consequences, the backroom dealings. I am between the two arms of my own body. Do I crush what I know in my palms? She is right, he is left, pain pains, how I rush in the flow of charms. Look closely at him to her, zigzag motions confuse words and things. Is this it? Have I found what I do, what I need, when I need? This is it. Choose a word, what eyes do in each deed, what I read, what I see. There, I fit. Life is round. Lies are true. I believe what I seed, just to be, to be. Zero, both a quality and a quantity. Nothing. Nothing disrupts whatever imagination condones. Play is reality arising between mother and child. It belongs neither to me nor to her, and father exists alongside that between. I prefer solemn company when windows darken, pitch like a ball to a batter, the triangular arrangement of thought captured. I wait in the corner a camera on a tripod, focus, stand secure, observe what's figure, what's ground, how light passes through the lens, substance, vibrations, all that passes between. Two speakers, left and right, stereo, cantatas, fugues, leader variations, signals, pulses recorded long ago, the crackling analog medium where I sit to absorb the music's flow. I am the center of attention. He is to she as I am to me, the third implied by a couplet, us. Neither body nor name, their fictional unity, the stinking pile, the words, the mugs, and objects indifference to language, and that entity compelled to possess it, a thirdness. Always standing apart, a reflection of a reflection, how the nose shines in the mirror and what stares out from large pores, messy introspection with its gooey revelations, he senses the pain of separation as both the glue and the glitter. She feels how glamour withholds to accrue power. On the surface of an oily residue, questions posing while answers lay to rest. Boilers explode, heat costs, sinuses dry, a season the most difficult to survive between fall and spring, between sacred and profane, melodies rise, then fall. Coughing is a form of punctuation. It separates the world's catastrophes. Still, what exists outside the frame is all, all of it together, not one. Though it is possible to conceive, there is no necessary meaning, only manifold embodiments all multiplied by a factor of one and then divided. Matter occupies different states. Boiler on, plumbing, preoccupations, sweat, blood, cum, pus, tears, along with their notions, their words. Materials become properties by the way their sounds penetrate solid masses. She wakes from sleep in another room. The city where he lives remains secret. She stirs, he writes, utter anxiety, warming itself into paralysis, reflective, self-describing piety, as if the words themselves constitute the very meaning of society, glimpsed in solitude by analysis. Meanwhile, food is broken down into sugar, and all theories become the embarrassing pleasure of gossip. Excitations are drawn from analogies, 
Ideas are both proximate and different, like tea is gentle and coffee is harsh. Look, I'm trying to show how conjunctions yield new substances. They release words from reference. They make distinctions. They are distinctions in theory. Cock pussy both adheres and sticks, does pain. Rough edges cut objects, token actions. Pussycock lives alone, lies down, lays claim. Steel fruit bearing side shoot tickles friction. Pussycock, pussycock, pussycock. Embrace abandoned predilections, cough. To whom, from whom, and when was I the first? Consult bank calendars, enact festivities. Bear trees, pine and cedar, burning logs, cough. Each book is the same book, always read, cough, cough. Between the covers, conjugation wrestles, zero tension. Oh, eccentric motor of my desire, gyre-shaped, word sound, exclamation, would not and would not, scrawling, civilized, mechanical, hypnotic gyration, between whole and whole, he lives, he dies, he who's despondent seeks confusion. Learn the ancient science, learn all the ologies, drink more, shake loose from the vine, enlightenment, fine wine, divine, refine all rhymes, Genesis, Adam, Eve, knowledge, fruit tree, tannenbaum, candle lights, ornaments, religion, seasons, and how they're changing. The worried look of a Christmas shopper. The theme here is panic how the rooms of an apartment differ silently. You find your way to the bathroom at night. Gyroscopes, orientations, night lights, what governs bodies sets them in motion. Messages go astray. I am the impersonal nature of a broadcast. I am backache, carpal tunnel syndrome, eye strain. I am what the closet is to the ensemble, a case for twisted fabrics and abandoned single socks. I am what leg wounds are to the furniture edges, the late night urination and constant thirst, cough. Sometimes what's brought together won't rhyme. The theme is proportion of parts to whole, where labor compresses flour, water, and eggs, what sustenance to the weary soul, her, him, whoever stands on two legs, is there more than breathing, what's the goal? I'm thankful for a thick slice of buttered bread, sigh. What lies beneath clumsy compliments, expectations, stolen glances, glimpsed peripheries, Shadows, figures, vague threats, arguments, repressed thoughts, too scary. What I thought when I said it, we meant I. Coincidences occur as a matter of pronouns because I and you don't always correspond. We combine words from limited supplies, consult pawns, then press send. We are often surprised by others' replies. We try to bring old friendships to common ends. Relations can, without warning. Like two lines together sometimes accord in space, though parallel lines never combine. Asymmetry is the theme. Among friends, do we require consensus for dinner? Do we all share the same portion? Each must be his or her own translator where two men wearing ties can share jokes. Mind, mood, murder, sentiment, sediment, violent combinations stirred cold, cereals, cereal predicament, violet morning, morning marigolds, continuums, temperament, senses, age, wrinkles, pillow creases, fabric folds, how people aggregate around feeding, words organize crowds into groups, Farming and framing, slippers, slippages, vegetations, vivid variegations, alarmed and tamed, flippant, diligent, moral mushrooms, moral values, potions. The theme is distance. The theme is writing, a calm ocean. Millions connect remotely. When words are the substance of attachments, 
Wear words and swear words incite, excite. I sip wine, eat melon with prosciutto. Evening, window, whining, winding, finalizing. Cello music, charm, chiaroscuro. Varying shades of light and dark form whole biblical stories. Thinly painted faces in Baroque pictures, drapery folds, suffering martyrs and saints, cross-dressing models, swapping gender roles. Where does the emotion reside? In the painter, in the painting, in the viewer, staring holes into the walls. You noticed red in the shadows, feeling a here made now by what's gone there, what's here made gone now by there, a feeling now by what's there made here a feeling gone. Where the sun and the moon both occupy the sky, a gardener kneels to cultivate a unique religion.